Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to make your voice sound better in the multi-track of Adobe Audition CC. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So previously, I've done tutorials on how to use the waveform editor to improve the clarity of your voice using techniques such as ENCN, equalize, normalize, compress, normalize. But what about if you're working in the multi-track, say with no template, no presets, just mic on his own recording? Well, let's let's do that. Let's record something into here. Uh, so I'm going to record from my microphone alone. There's my single microphone. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. Okay, so that's a raw, unprocessed uh, copy of my microphone there. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. Okay, as you can hear, it's pretty quiet to start with. Now we can either grab and drag this icon down here with a kind of like volume bars and just increase it like that so we can hear it louder. Hello, this is me recording. I And that's probably enough. Or if I undo that, we can right click and match clip loudness to a target loudness, minus 16 luffs is what I usually aim for. Click OK, boom, there we go. Okay. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. So some quick win effects we can apply to the Adobe Audition multi-track to make things sound a heck of a lot better. First of all, I would start off with my equalize, just like I did in waveform before, ENCN. So we'll go for equalize, and that will be filter and EQ, and we'll go for a parametric equalizer here down to default, and I'm going to roll off the bass with a high pass filter. Let's bring this in. Hello, this is me recording. Going really thin as I pull it up, so let's pull it down just so we can't hear that. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. Around 105 hertz, we're rolling off bass frequencies that are not needed. Another really quick win is you can add in some high end, and I'll just pull up that high end, change the shape of that curve, and make it higher. Extreme example here. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. I'm going to go about there just so you can hear the difference. So now you should be able to hear the difference with EQ and without. Hello, this is me. That's with EQ. Hello, this is me. Without EQ, a little bit flatter. Hello, this is me. Okay, so that's EQ. These are just extreme examples to show you what is possible. Obviously, you can go through and you can do other things with these notches. But just to get you into the basics, I'll show you how to get started. After you have EQ'd, you can then go in and add one of my favorite effects that's recently been added uh, to Adobe Audition CC. It is the dynamics effect. And here we're going to be using the compressor and the limiter to maximize the sound of this audio. So the compressor is going to kick in at a default threshold right now of minus 20. And we'll set that ratio to two to start with. If you have it at one, the compressor will not work. So make sure to put it up at two. And you should see this little red tickling in. Hello, this is me recording. I ever so slightly. I can see I've also got the expander enabled. So make sure all other boxes are unticked and only your compressor in the dynamics effect is ticked. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to say that's pretty good. I might actually push the threshold down so it compresses more of my audio. Let's move it down to minus 25. Hello, this is me recording. That's doing a nice bit of compression. And uh, what we'll do now is we will add a limiter in, but not before I've pushed the makeup gain up to push this overall volume Hello, up. This is me. So speaking at minus 18, let's push it up by about 12 dB. Hello, this is me. A lot louder. Hello, this is me. Minus six there. And with the limiter, Limiter, I can stop this at say minus three from oh that's zero <laughs> minus three dB. Uh, so that will stop the audio from going any higher than minus three dB. Now I can push it up really hard until this red light comes on. Hello, this is me and it is. recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. Let's try again. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. And the idea is Hello, to set is the makeup gain on the compressor so it just tickles the limiter and you get a nicely compressed voice. So now let's move this from here to here so we can hear a before and after. You notice all I've used in this particular example to keep things really simple is parametric equalizer and dynamics. So we started with a voice that sounded very much like this. Hello, this is me. And just for sake of uh, balance, I'm going to actually turn the amplitude up. Hello, this is me. So it's the same amplitude now as this, but this one will sound better. This is before. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound a little bit better. And then after. Hello, this is me recording. I'd quite like to sound 
a little bit better. And as you can see, with a few simple steps inside the Adobe Audition CC Multitrack, you can easily make a voice sound better. Share your experience and let me know your feedback in the comments to this video.